Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run. A run where I'm trying to beat legendary Iron Man difficulty with rookies and rookies only. And in case I haven't mentioned it before, we also upped the ante and have now said it's a four man run, so no squad size upgrades on top of it. Because Legitly, uh, with legitimate uh, rookie only utilization for all functions in the game, you couldn't upgrade uh, the squad in the GTS. And the logic there is uh, we wouldn't use that. So, this is going to be fun. Uh, this is hopefully an easier mission, quote unquote, Operation Define Profit, uh, where we are recovering an item from the Resistance Haven. Uh, Resistance Haven. And I invested a bit of um, money into hiring new soldiers uh, more particularly if you look into the armory we got a couple new recruits uh, so if you are excited about uh, seeing your character now is the time slicinator made it into the roster enders made it into the roster grill made it into the roster we get Arius, uh, who made it into the roster, and finally Sam Synapse Walker, who made it into the roster. The reason why I expanded the roster is <clears throat> we are uh, we, we need to make sure that we're using the easier missions to build up new bonds, and and effectively that only works if uh, the soldiers have a high likelihood to like each other. Um, Enders and Arias do that, so I color code them uh, jointly and XQS6 and Slicinator do that as well. The idea really is we're going to create more bonds so that in case uh, one of the tier 3 bonds, uh, more tier 2 bond couples, uh, is being split apart, we have some sort of catch-up mechanism uh, to, to deal with. This is really it. Uh, we got one war suit uh, that I am wearing loud and proud with a shredder gun um, in there. I don't think we're going to fight against a lot of mechanical units. If I'm wrong, uh, or for the case of being wrong, I put one uh, slight uh, blue screen rounds with me. And other than that, you can see since the side trip is lost, we want to hit and we want to hit well. We got expanded, uh, extend, extended magazines, um, at least in one of the weapons, and that should help us to kill, hopefully, many, many of the lost. Let's move into the mission and see how well this is going to go. Good time to jump right into the mission. The lost side trip can mean a lot. It could mean it's only lost, but it could also mean it is lost and something else. And if it is something else, it might be the chosen one. And if that's the case, we're in trouble. So good news. We finally got two, four, six, eight, ten uh, hit points. Is that the case? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep. And an armor, which effectively is another hit point. So. We're looking at 11 hit points, that's uh, as good as it gets. Unless you're wearing heavy armor, 2, 4, uh, 6, 8, 10, plus 2. Uh, so that's a tiny bit better. We're still hidden, and I want to keep it that way. There is nice high ground, which I hope we can use for the purpose of this mission. Position confirmed. And of course, the one time, time that you would want to have a between the eyes. Oh, well, that we'll answers, I suppose, the question. Is that an environment suit? Maybe something that can't handle our atmosphere? Those emissions could be toxic. I advise caution, Commander. Ricevuto. So I was about to say the one time that we could really use a between the eyes uh, mod because it would be so, so helpful. We're of course not getting it. Stepping Good. Off. I'm moving a little bit further. Mainly to spot these guys and so all of them can, uh, can attack the Andromedon. 
container detonation in eight. Well, we gotta move fast. Good. Continuing to move up. Move, move, move. Got some hostiles grouped over here. More hostile. No, 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 don't. Don't succumb to your fear of Max. It's all right, buddy. You got this. Good. These guys are now fighting against one another, which is fine. And we really got to shred uh, the Andromedon. Potentially the, the most dangerous enemy that we have fought so far. Okay. Okay, let's go. I am back in between, yeah, a second ago and now. Real life time has passed, so I needed to take a couple of other appointments. Anyways, we were about to really open this up. Let's see. We got Slicinator here, XQ6, Arius, and Endors. And we wanted to make sure that this here is going to be an effective starting point, including getting rid of uh, the Andromedon. So how do we do that, really? We got one heavy weapon. Don't want to go over and uh, pull these guys. So we got to be careful. And I guess this is not good enough. Nah, just not good enough. Okay, so potentially, potentially this turn will be another non-effective turn. We got high ground. I would love to go further in. The problem is we would be activating that second pack and I really don't want that to happen. Can we stick with with the Andromedon? Is that a thing? I mean, we could eliminate those two guys. Problem is the Andromedon would still be fit to go. How many Mimic Beacons do we have? I don't I don't like the odds it's not as uh, easy as it looks we do I, I distinctly remember that there was another pack over here so elite trooper and elite lancer we could get the elite lancer down and then just leave the andromedon for now maybe mimic beacon play it Those guys are already activated, meaning it wouldn't make much of a difference for us, and they are not moving really. Let's give it a try. Very nice execution. There we go, we've just been revealed. Ninety-four percent shot miss. Um, honestly speaking, that was somewhat the shot that I was hoping to hit. 
we cannot stay so closely together because elsewise acid bomb will happen. Could position ourselves here, but that's very, very much pushing it. Can position ourselves back here, which might be the safer bet. Never mind, no matter how or where we're moving, we are being called out. So did we have, we have the tracer rounds here and tracer rounds here. Okay, well, it's going to be a case of mimic beaconing. Move in aggressively forward and let's hit this guy. There we go. Very good. Well, and then Mimic Beacon it is. Maybe right up there. Uh, the mech should see the Mimic Beacon just like the the stun lancer, maybe over here. And of course, in good fashion, one of the Chosens appears. This time the Hunter, he has trained, so let's see what his new uh, abilities are. Immune to melee, doesn't matter for us, uh, can summon even more troops. Uh, got Overwatch and does not trigger Overwatch himself. Okay, cool. Good. We will need to face many of the tracing shots. L11 points of damage. Oh, that is nasty. Well, we do have a problem. Uh, the enemies are dealing way too much damage. Could have been a much worse turn. Could have been a much, much worse turn. And one of the options that we do now have is to mark these guys here. Very nice. Okay, we're definitely going to use an ultrasonic lure. Gotta get up there, but I think our high ground here actually works relatively well, so reloading, ultrasonic lure, catch all of these guys, pretty sure this here is a faceless one, because why would there be a random civilian in the middle of, uh, of this area? So far as it has not triggered, which is really to our advantage. Do we have blue screen rounds here? Yes, we do. Look, I am looking for this fight here. And I would like to take a more aggressive position. Uh, 
I'm finding myself challenged though. Um, and I think we need to fall back just a little bit. Is it reload and attack for him? I mean that could work. Uh, that could work. Let's do the other turns first. We're not going to use another mimic beacon. I, I could go very aggressive. But that is getting us into melee range. I could go over here. And then we're basically sealing off this area. And all of the loss will move to there. Could move to here. Could aggressively move forward with XQ6. Then take the shots. And we're equally moving to here and then take the shots and Let's first of all get her into safety. We're not going to We're not going to shred uh, this mech we need to keep our shredding for the Andromedon. Oh, it's decent damage. Even got the hair trigger. We have no one else to shoot at. Might as well fully unload on the mech. Okay. Look, we could move over here and deal with that stupid stun lancer, and then everybody else would go to the uh, to the mag, right? That's an option. Could go to here even, which is a surprisingly good cover position for cover. Can could move over here. And work our way up to this high ground. Don't pl don't toy with the Andromedons. They are nasty. So we got to be careful here. This is an a very aggressive move. Equally so. One that we could greatly benefit from. Let's first get really rid of uh, the mech. Then, secondly, the stun lance is the next big problem because it can one shot KO our operatives. Very nice, it just took away its own cover. Perfect, couldn't have asked for a better situation. And now you guys are stuck with a lot of uh, losses. Good luck, is what I would tell you. I see you. Even more losses. By thinking about it, we potentially need to save the shredding for the hunter, because we still need to fight against him. Many, 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 many losts are coming in. And all of a sudden, they are now hitting the three remaining uh, enemies. Faces one? No, no. Well, that is interesting. Don't make this too easy on me. Good, we're moving over here. I want to continue advancing. Oh, 
almost motivated to move all the way up here. But that will happen next turn. You know what, why not? Um, Alright, Arius moves up. Slicing Ada, it's a good time to reload and kind of go for the Andromedon, really. <laughs> the execute just at the right moment on time. And e oh, and even a hair trigger. The game is too kind. Another nine points of damage. You know, let's clean up some of uh, the losts. I don't uh, think that that would be a bad idea. We have uh, the extended magazine. Four. Yep, that is good. Okay, very good. We are continuing to hit the Andromedon. Which now is at critical health ah, there's a flanking shot all right cool Very nice. Is this guy finally disclosing that they are not a civilian? Okay, apparently not yet. Oh, look at that. Coincidentally, there's another civilian up here blocking. Four more turns. I could. I, I swear there was a civilian right there. Apparently, that's not the case. High ground is helpful to clean up some of the loss. Again, we have too many at this point. come to that in a second Back in. let's kill this guy next turn we can we can get the loot I definitely would want to have the loot. Good, elite officer, let's go. Hair trigger. 
Give it another chance. Uh, we're reloading first. There's no disadvantage in doing that. And let's try again. Come on. Nice. 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 Very good. Moving into cover so that he cannot flank us. Oh, complete shocker. How could that be a faceless one? We would have never guessed. The only civilian who is standing kind of in that neighborhood of, uh, of losts. And he's going to town against all of uh, the enemies here. Why exactly is he dealing 10 points of crit damage? That is massive. Okay, interesting. When the... Uh, when the faces one uh, changes, apparently that also means he is losing tracking shot. That's indeed interesting. First things first, um, we're hacking. XQ6 has it well under control. Yeah, we're typically not successful with that. Very good. Okay, now seems to be a good time to clean up at least some of those losses. Thankfully, we got the high ground. And thankfully, we got that ultra extended magazine. And superior extended magazines help with the loss a lot. Care of. Good. Injuring every single one of them. Getting that brute down. And really getting most of uh, the dashers down as well. Maybe short of that one brute back there, we should be fine. I think this crossfire position here strategically makes a lot of sense. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That's not a hundred percent chance to kill. And we're going for the face. This one. Very good. Oh, did I just trick myself out of the loot? Ooh. Well, it is what it is, Saiken. You could have taken the loot a bit earlier. Well, sucks, but it... Uh, I could have... Uh, I could have... Just thought about that before and... And moved a bit earlier. It was really unnecessary to lose that. Getting nervous yet. Good, we're reloading. Nice. We executed them right away. Any way to get up into high ground? Nope. Apparently not. Let's take a couple of shots, shall we? Enemy Talk me some ammo. Half down. Half Let's do this. That's it. I'm out. Uh, 
Good. We know this guy is coming from back here. Might as well use our chance to just go through the entirety of uh, this building on foot and uh, then start fighting against the hunter afterwards. Good. This should be a position where we can take uh, the balcony high ground next turn. And to be honest, um, despite the fact that this is such a great high ground, I think it's now time to motor. We need to engage with the hunter. Okay, that would we can almost uh, throw it that far, almost. Rushing in next turn, we're going to uh, next turn we're going to move up and track him. So if possible, let these guys survive for one more round. Excure 6 is moving in and if we just trigger him, uh, that would be unfortunate. Good. Even more of these stupid faceless ones. But that also means more mimic beacons. I've got help coming, Commander. Spotted. Wow, three troopers. Into full cover. Nice little miss. Moving into full cover. Up close and Very good. Unfortunately, we did not destroy his high ground. Good. Moving out, and now is the time to throw this here. Very nice. Go, my lost. Go, army of lost, and kill these insolent fools. Alright, he summoned uh, his friends, we summoned the Lost, and now it's officially on. This is a nice little mass shootout. Uh-oh.
Well, not if you shoot like that, buddy. Good, there is the pistol overwatch. <laughs> Fantastic. Good, we're continuing with high high ground here. Let's take these guys out one by one, shall we? Good, Faces 1 just died. And we are slowly but surely just moving back. This here is not a great place to be. Fifty-fifty didn't really help. Not the best first impression. Good move over here. Take the high ground. Take full cover high ground over here. Uh. Could go to the back. I think we should team up too far away from one another at this point. And as overwatches. Come on, come on. Nope. That's a miss, unfortunately. Very nice. The troopers really shoot like stormtroopers. That's what you want to see. That's a lot of damage. Very nice. The Lost Swarm definitely helps us out here. And he's marked, so... If the Lost somehow managed to get to him, that would put him into in a very difficult situation. Oh yeah, fantastic. That's Oh, that's great. He hits for a ton. Never mind, he's immune to melee damage. I just realized that. Well, yeah. Best outcome we could hope for is they keep him busy and entertained. I think we're just going to take the 50-50s here. Got a solid position here on the high ground. Not even close. That's affirmative. Moving a bit further. C 
60% chance to hit. Let's go. Unfortunately, not successful. This is half cover. I don't want to fight him from half cover. We need the full cover. He's immune to overwatch, so might as well take normal shots. Come on, burn. Don't move a muscle. Good, we potentially need to withdraw her. At least for now. The loss nicely cancel his pistol overwatch. That's really helpful. Let's get a bit, let's get a tiny bit closer, shall we? Question is, how can we even get, well, we could get to him. Slicinator. Could move up to here and then run or move up to here. I think we're just moving up to here. Try to get into a flanking position. Because fighting him in the current circumstances is problematic. Two hit points, not good enough. We, we can't with, um, stand in combat with him. At least not for now. I'll just pull her back and reload. 50-50. Come on, I, I'm requiring this execution. We want to get him down. What? Wait, wow. Time to go. She never fails me. The lost are like fish in a barrel. Alright. Well, he exposed himself with that move. Not the smartest one. And the losts are just doing Neo's Matrix moves here, jumping from the building. Trying to get close to him. Nice. Ah, he's unfortunately immune. For this particular mission, it helped him a lot. Full cover. Our only target is the hunter. Nice, good shot. Now I'm getting a little angry. 
Are we doing half cover? I think so. It's not perfect, but it is okay. Slicing Nato moves over 50 50. Let's get that Hunter. Good shot. Fantastic. And since he can swing around anyways, might as well use a semi, uh, semi half cover position here. Ah, that is unfortunate. He's not low enough yet. Elsewise, I could have gone in here and taken a shot. Nope, not yet. Overwatch, and that's it. The losses are doing it's a big favor here. Too many targets for them to destroy. <laughs> no! Why are you shooting at uh, XCOM? Stop it! There are enough losses down there. Half cover, jumps down, full cover. Okay, what? Let's make this clean. I'm close, but nobody's perfect. More loss, even more loss. I have to wonder, it's, it's just so many losses in this mission. This is still oh yeah, come on, destroy the cover here. He is immune, but we have destroyed his little cover. Reload, 70%. Come on. Nice. Hair trigger? No. Alright, so this is full cover and still able to see him. Can we somehow get in position? Again, not great, but better than nothing. Just when he would have died normally, we execute him. Okay, that was ooh, something else. I'm beginning to understand why the elders find you so interesting, Commander. Your little crew does present a challenge somehow. Excellent work, Commander. We may not have put them down for good, but at the very least, we've held off the Chosen for another day. All right, Overwatch here. And it's one lone 
wolf against all of these lots. You don't have enough ammunition, buddy, to get through all of them. And why exactly are you shooting at us? Go for them. It's not my fault that they are attacking you. Well, technically it is, but he doesn't know that. Good, the losses are doing us a favor as well by starting to ignite. Very soon we can start getting all of those losses as well. Good, we're moving up. And he was trying to shoot at us. I don't take that very lightly, my friend. Enemies down. I'm out of firepower over here. Shouldn't have killed him, he already burned, but never mind. Starting to clean up this massive mess. And there is some more loot which we could get we already missed the last one so i am twice as motivated this time to to get the entirety of the loot okay lost are starting to move in All right, one, Got two, Hostile pacified. three, Target disabled. and four. Dry. There's definitely no shortage of kills in this mission. Good, luckily we got the extended magazine. Let's clean up this gigantic swarm here. Good, reloading. Boy, so many losses. Good. At least this is eliminating all of them. Good. Might as well get the loot. Not the best, but it is okay. We've ooh, let's get these lost killed before something happens. I don't want another swarm here. Somehow they are no longer moving as well. So time to move all over here. Good. We're taking some more high ground. Moving to Overwatch. 
another one. Oh boy. Not even sure how to deal with all of those swarms. Holy shit. Good. One thing is clear, don't let them get up uh, the balcony. I think it was here, right? Yes. Good. Let's take the high ground here and XQ6 is shutting off that balcony and we're moving all the way over here so we can flank them. They are not moving anymore, uh, which is a bit odd. Even if they were moving, they would not be able to really get up here, so it's not completely a different result. But still, typically, they are putting up a bit more of a fight. And Ares here is potentially the one with the most kills at the end of this entire mission. Kill confirmed. Run and drive. Simply because we have used her to, Ready to go. clean up everything. I'm out of over here. And she has very deep magazines. Good, moving over. Okay, we gotta get that high ground here. How could I have assumed that the loss could be hit without taking high ground? Nope, they're just standing there. Okay, whatever it is, they seem to have given up. And those guys haven't helped us in the fight as well, so they had been standing here for a bit already. Moving in. Desha down. Desha heavily injured. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to risk her life. She only has two hit points and if I miscalculate and the guy automatically starts or all of a sudden starts to uh, move again, then it's one hit. And it was also not just one. Really? Okay, let's kill this last guy before another swarm appears. Wait, what? 
That's not it. More? <sighs> and I thought that there are no more hide and seek missions. Meaning no more kind of single enemies that are getting stuck somewhere. Are you kidding me? Good copy. Moving on target. Nailed him. Oh boy. Taking care of. Look, all I want is to find that last enemy. And finish this mission. No one over here, no one over here. Do we find someone somehow over here? strange because I would have guessed by now we have kind of cleaned up all of the loss but apparently there is like one hiding somewhere so that the mission cannot end Maybe it is one of the faceless ones as well, but they should have shown themselves by now, right? Next turn, we might be able to go there and see if that's a faceless one. Just trying to check all of uh, the angles here, man. So it's only the loss, so I'm not getting any alien turns anymore. All right, let me fast forward that. Are down and the area is secure. Well, there was one guy on the bottom of the last building who didn't want to move. So that's what took so long. One loss was just waiting there and loss kept on spawning and spawning and spawning. Very good. So this pack hopefully will get uh, some bonding done look at that that almost looks like bonding right confirm a bond yes please and do we have some more bonding no not yet but they did well just look at uh, the amount of kills. 28, 28, 23, and 14. Everybody was a killer in this mission. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectation and we countered Vigilance as a dark event. Well, great. That was good. The negative traits that you see here were from the sabotage. Uh, that already happened beforehand, so... It's really just delayed um, 
yeah, let's jump back onto the globe. Cool, we could get some more Illarium and Alois. I think we're just directly going to take that. Game uh, now provides us with those critical resources uh, so we can create more war suits and the serpent suit. Perfect. So let's take a look at the serpent suit, by the way. Commander, the factions have ready proposals for various Got one core, and I would really like to invest that into a war suit, so we still need some more alloys. In terms of soldiers, let me just see from a loadout perspective. So 6 plus 4, right? And that means one hit point less, but substantial improvement in mobility. Okay, de facto two hit points less because we also do not have uh, the armor. But 35 dodge isn't bad at all. The grapple is good and the frostbite is good. So it's a very nice armor. I think it's already upgraded, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not. Let's upgrade that further. I wish we had a simulator for Bradford to practice on. If he crashes this... Cool. We got experimental weapons, finally. Now, what do we want to continue doing? Intel is a bit sparse, so might as well go with another datapad, right? Let's see. Uh, this is... Uh, mm, this year would be a uh, scouting item. Battlefield scanner. Sustenance sphere. No. No. Spectre would be uh, making ourselves invisible. Overdrive serum here. Upgraded melee weapons, and that would be Hasmas Vest. Not bad, but not really needed now. Let's for now go with Intel. And in terms of taking options here, let's go with a Bolt Caster because we can actually use that. Uh, Shadow Keeper and Hunter's Axe unfortunately can't be used. I would love to, but it's uh, quite unfortunate. And the Frost Bomb definitely, definitely would be a good investment. Good. Let's continue. Wait a second. Level 3 Bond. Fantastic. Here we go, a Aaron. And Jeranks also. Uh, level 3. So technically speaking, we got some max level... Uh, max level uh, rookies already. Quote unquote max level. Um, Roby and Divot have level 3 bond, uh, Sane and uh, Sonar have a level 3 bond, and Aaron and Jarang soon have a level 3 bond. I am careful not to take them on to too many missions, uh, really just the uh, difficult, very difficult ones, because I don't want to lose those bonds, they are valuable. On the other hand, maybe I'm risking to lose the campaign. Maybe we just got to uh, risk sacrificing them. Typically, when I've maxed out units and it's not that difficult, I just continue and try to use secondary units. But I think in this particular case, that might not be a good idea. So next up, I think we want a defense matrix. Yes, please. Comes online in 14 days, just in time. Uh, the we're, we're going to be shot down relatively soon. Upgrading it afterwards uh, for four turrets. That will give us 
a really, really, really good uh, defense. Strategic resource located. Look at that. Look at that. We got ourselves the exact right resources. So let's do a couple of things, shall we? Hey, Commander. Number one, build items. We want to upgrade uh, that great suit. Number two. After getting the frost bomb done, I think another uh, war suit will do just fine. Good, I would like to get more cores. So, and in terms of the Viper's suit now, let's get back to the standard loadout, right? So, we got. 6 plus 4 plus 1, so that is 11 hit points. And this is also 11 hit points. But boy, oh boy, 40 dodge, that is great. And even more mobility. So the maxed up uh, Serpent Suit is actually better. It loses uh, one uh, carrying slot, but it gets Frostbite and the Grapple in return. The pure stats, though. 11 hit points and 40 dodge are better. So this could be something for Roby because he's already having dodge uh, skill. Could maybe use him as a 100% uh, dodge type of tank, which wouldn't be too bad. And the Frostbite is good. Frostbite is really good. Okay, we got another mission, uh, a supply run, which we're going to do the next time. At the moment, we got a lot of new toys uh, to play with. Boltcaster soon, uh, which we might be able to upgrade. Uh, then a war suit, another one uh, coming soon. So, uh, and that's really good. That is reaffirming. But keep in mind, at this point, we are maxed out. Like everything else that we now want to get is costing us Illyrium cores, which is a rare commodity nowadays. We do have max bonds uh, for the best quote-unquote rookies that we have. So there isn't much more we can get from the bonds either. It's relatively straightforward. From now on, it is not getting any stronger. And we just had the first Andromedon. Uh, granted, it was easier than I would have thought. But if you have seen that it hits for 11 points of damage, that is just one hit point less than our max hit points. So it might as well... We might as well get one shot uh, by those enemies every day, all day. It it is that bad in the end game. We still haven't seen a gatekeeper. We still haven't seen a sectopod, both of which are fearsome enemies. Uh, specifically, the gatekeeper is countering us very hard with its, I think, 25 defense. Uh, so net net. If we do not apply anything, 65 hit minus 25 defense means there is a 40% net chance of hitting a gatekeeper. Um, okay, there are proximity and high ground bonus. I think it's even 35 defense. So there is a 30% chance to even hit um, uh, with a weapon. And, and we do have tracer rounds. Okay, that's 10. We do have high ground. Yep, that's fine as well. And we do have... Uh, um, the ability to to get closer but in a perfect 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 world we are potentially still only looking at like 50 60 percent hit chance against these guys then they do have seven armor on top of it so it all uh, seems incredibly difficult to pull off unless we uh, play our, the circumstances in our favor such as I don't know um, putting a lure on them and then the loss will swarm them and uh, eventually uh, hit them multiple multiple times but then again the guy could just I don't know gateway and kill all of the loss and have like 40 zombies which wouldn't be optimal as well so I guess the point that I um, am trying to make is some of the endgame enemies are going to require a bit of a different strategy. 
specifically the top tier uh, gatekeeper and sector port ones they are going to be they, they are putting the fear of god into into our guys i can tell you that much anyways we're not there yet um it is almost october though so we have crossed that magical threshold of uh, the uh, of getting close to the winter and once winter time has hit in legendary you are better prepared and we i, I sort of feel we are still a bit under prepared guys thank you so much for watching i enjoy your support if you like the missions if you like the run leave a comment and a like down below help the channel a little bit um, and see you in the next episode bye bye